know what I think about all the time? I can't be myself in public without having one of my friends with me. You know what I mean? Because if I act the way that I act like with my friends, it's like, oh my God, she's so quirky and she literally has friends. She must be so funny. But if I start acting freaky alone, I'm getting committed. People are gonna think someone laced me or something. And I fully believe this is why I can count how many friends I have on one hand. It's like, if I think of something funny to say in class, but I'm alone, I'm not saying that because if no one laughs, I'm pulling the fire alarm. But if I say it and my friend is in the class, she'll be like, ah! Like, at least somebody... Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I'm silly and I want to be silly. And I think if people got to know me, they would think I'm funny and silly and they'd want to be my friend too. But I'm forced to be mysterious and nonchalant because I don't have any friends in my class. Well, I have some, but they're too normal. You guys need to understand how hard I dabble in the art of stalking people platonically. No, I don't want you, bro. I just want to see your baseball stats. We're just friends. Also, where did your mother go to high school? Like, I'm not like hunched over at 2am looking at CCTV camera footage of their house. I just want to see those DECA trophies. Like, yes, I've looked up my friends in the white pages. Can you let a woman have hobbies? But uh, you guys need to start doing it. You do. You will find vital pieces of information. Like your best friends. Mm, it doesn't really matter. Like, I've seen you pee your pants in front of me. I don't need to see your piano competition from 2012. But like people you're not as close to. Just Sometimes I'll just take a peek at someone's following and I'm like, oh my god. God, you're a freak. Like, it'll be the most distinguished gentleman following, like, anime girl 69. Like, what? But then I can't bring up something I found by stalking because I can't tell them that I found out by contacting their dead grandma through a media. I'm like, but give it a try, okay? Lock in. You will find things. <laughs> Y'all, not too much on Dream because why does he kind of look like me? Every single attack to his looks is inherently an attack to me. Come on, we are twin up. <laughs> Every Halloween, people make fun of each other's costumes. We always neglect to make fun of the people who don't dress up and then say some corny shit like, I'm dressed as myself. Just take the L. You don't have to be like, I'm dressed as a guy in a black shirt. And it's worse when these people go trick-or-treating because they're like high school students. You look like Adam Sandler, and you have a baby's ass for a chin. These people are gonna think they're getting robbed by a 40-year-old man. Like, I mean, if you celebrate Halloween, and you're going to some Halloween event, and you say some stupid shit like that, you're gonna be dressed as someone who's nursing a black eye. It's so fucking corny. Just put on something. Put on one of your dead Meemaw's sweaters, and say you're dressed as a throw pillow, so that I don't blow my brains out. Happy Halloween. Hey guys, someone got me this super cute little thing from my Amazon wish list. There is one problem. <laughs> the thing is, if you don't see the issue, I didn't see the issue first. I went to show my mom and she started laughing and she asked why I have saggy old lady boobs. So thank you, mom. Like, how do I... Oink. <laughs> Sorry. Like, really? I'm a minor. Is anyone else's dad just, like, insane? My parents are divorced, so my dad lives six hours away from me, and this is what he texts me. Avers, I said no. Pfft, right? It's flag day. I like grilled zucchini. I used to get sock lint between my toes when I was a teenager. Reason 71 why girls didn't like me. In a group chat with my sister, matter cannot be created or destroyed. It's called the law of conservation of mass. Good to know. You should have learned that in school. Eye test. You know who always passes an eye test? Bo Burnham? Do you ever get the urge to Google something completely random when you're trying to fall asleep? Because this plagued my sleep last night. Like, I was like, I need to Google this right now. If I don't know how tall Jesus was, nothing will ever go right in my life again. So I looked it up. It, it kind of sent me down a rabbit hole. How many times ab day does the average person poop? Like, seriously? I don't even remember Googling that. What, what time is it in London? What time is it in... I didn't even- I didn't even state where! It just- it, it kept going like, I- Because all of these searches are like a good 20 minutes apart and I would just spend those minutes like actually fighting demons like, Don't look it up! 
and then I would. I went to bed late last night. I guess I have my answers now, though, so. People poop anywhere from three times a week to three times a day. So in October, I was like one of the actors for my school's haunted house, and I was assigned the same room as this guy, and I just knew his name. I still don't know anything about him. He's a creature. So like people would come through, he'd scare them, and then when they leave, he would start <laughs> whipping and dabbing. Ironically, but he was a little too committed. And the entire night, he would not stop with the... And ever since that night, anytime we see each other in the hallway, immediately... Hey! The other day, in the middle of a crowded-ass hallway, we passed each other, and he went... Ah! Hey! <laughs> and everyone looked. But it was funny. Like, I don't know what this is, but I think it's a really wonderful, beautiful, mysterious thing. <laughs> Hey, Joshua. You ever know someone who, like, insults you to try to be friends? Like, they're trying to be funny, but it's- it's targeting me, leave me- Oh, you did your nails. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the way that they're low-key ugly as fuck and you, like, have a terrible personality. Nah, this is why your grandma died. <coughs> what? Okay, so, homecoming is in a week and no one asked me. Am I mad? Yes. Because tell me why this guy texted me and he was like, Oh my god, seven people are asking me to homecoming, what do I do? I didn't get one person ask me, but you, the one who looks like there are fucking birds like sulfurous eggs in your hair, got seven people. Oh god, I'm sorry. That was mean. Uh, you're a nice guy. But hey, I'm a catch too. I just deserve one person to ask me. Okay. I think I get it now. <laughs> it's called becoming ironically unfunny. Not unironically unfunny. You're unfunny. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not fully grasping what this is supposed to mean. I'm, there's no word requirement on, on comments. You can just say the last sentence. That's all we need. Okay, but either way, it's, you're waking up in New Zealand tomorrow. Actually, God bless your soul. I hope you wake up in a third grade classroom so we can learn the difference between your and your. <gasps> Was that funny? Was that funny? I don't know why I tweak out when people think I'm not funny. Like, it's not that serious. You could literally, like, blow up my house and I'd be like, oh, this guy. <laughs> but if you call me unfunny, it's raps. Okay, but, like, when I act super off-putting, it's not me trying to be funny. It's, like, the result of multiple disorders. I'm almost out of time, guys! Hey guys, I'm working a haunted house this weekend for my school. It's a part of the theater program, and I already did like four hours last night. Let me tell you, these people are paying 10 US dollars per person to enter the haunted house and not care and be rude to the actors. <clears throat> okay, so I'm at the door holding it, trying to scare people like, ah, don't go in there. Bah. Not, not, I don't burp. This girl was like, are you gonna move your head or what? Oh, oh my God, wait, I just remembered I have something for you. And these girls came in, they're like, Wah! these are definitely theater kids. Uh, Kelly Clarkson! Literally, what do you think? It's a part of the theater program. Yes, there are theater kids. You know what I do every time? I creep up in their ear, do a little... Get out. Oh my god, I love it. It was so good. It was perfect. Got another four hours tonight. If you go to my school, 7.30 to 11, you should attend. So I can... Uh, Scream at you with no repercussion. Hey guys, um, I was assigned a project on photosynthesis. So I'm a plant and he's the, s he's the sun. Don't, you can't run from me. You, oh my God. I'm Should huh? I start your free trial and play love with you? <laughs> It looks like dog poop with tapeworms in it. Literally, do I ever like think before I speak? <clears throat> oh, shit. Uh. Guys, please get this one million like. <gasps> oh my god. Guys, guess what I just found out? Look at this face I can do. Okay, so typically the Botox face is like known as this. Let me show you the real Botox face. It literally, it looks like I got Botox. I'm, I don't know how I think. It's, hold on, it's not. Bro, how do I, <laughs> hold on. My eyelash. <laughs> how is that possible? <laughs>
Whoever's in charge of daylight savings, this video's for you. Stop. You better stop it. You're embarrassing me. You're making a, you're making a scene. Stop it. I'm telling you. Cut it out. This is a warning. Give me my hour back, please. It's because of that damn phone. Give it to me now. I hate this stupid motherfucking nightmare. I hate it so much. And the guy who created it, George Hudson, he looks like he drinks huge warm glasses of piss. And we're letting this guy control our time? Okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. Okay, people always comment that I sound like Patrick Bateman. And I find myself... Oh my god! I find myself hearing it in like little things I say, like... Let's see Paul Allen's card. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, uh, uh, my name's Patrick Bateman. I'm I'm having gay sex with your father. I'm sorry. It's just uh. <laughs> no, I don't sound anything like him. Mm, nice try, liberal. <laughs> the term "pick me" does it. What does it even mean at this point? People use it for everything. I could go to my doctor and be like, "Hey, doc, <laughs> my urine is brown." Yeah. Okay. And this is how TikTok users would react. Um, pick me alert. Pick me. Okay, yeah, you think you're quirky because your fucking kidneys are failing? Oh, you got evicted and your grandma died? Okay. <laughs> Pick me. What, you're trying to be different? God. Chronically online. Okay? Like, just walk it off. Uh, if I'm telling a story and you don't look interested enough, I'm gonna start lying. And he was so rude. He was like, I said no pickles. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And then he said, in five seconds, a giant bomb is gonna go. What? Man, who came up with this thing about TikTok drafts getting leaked on the 26th? What? You are stupid! Everyone's stupid! Why are you believing that? <laughs> How am I gonna d delete all my drafts? You're fucking dumb. Why so serious? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm wearing whitening strips. I don't understand why I can't order off the kids menu anymore. Okay, I was denied a kid's cheese pizza today at a restaurant because I'm over 12. Um, you can't prove that. Okay, the, the waitress was like, no, I'm, I can't do that. My manager does not allow that. Does that matter? It's not this poor waitress's fault. I was not mad at her. It's not her fault her manager is Joseph Stalin. Okay, I ordered something else. I did not like it. I'm sorry, I'm a picky eater, but I tried to eat it. So I didn't look incriminating, but it tasted like booty cheeks, so I, I couldn't eat it. And then the waiter came back and she was like, did you not like it? And I was like, and my dad was like, no. And I was like, all right, Donato, relax. And then the manager came over. No one, no one called for the manager. Okay, maybe it was just the clenching of my father's jaw that made the waitress alert the manager. But he was like, oh, I, I heard about the cheese pizza situation. Oh my God. And suddenly this man was talking to me like I was 12, just because I wanted to order off the kids menu. He was like, okay, how about I make you a cheese pizza? It'll be good. You can eat it later while you're watching some TV. Who are you talking to right now? He was like, come on, it'll be, it'll be nice. It'll be yummy. I mean, I said yes. But the, the point is, if you're going to give me the pizza anyway, you could have just done it in the first place. Anyway, don't take, I'm not rude to servers. Don't take this the wrong way. No one was, I, I tidy up the table. I leave a note for the waitresses and I tip 20%. So I hate to be this person, but I cannot be myself around people or they think I'm weird. Today I was um like working on a group project with these people and we like finished it. And so... Obviously, the only valid reaction is to do this. <laughs> what a great moment to do that for the first time. They, um, yeah, they all just like exchanged horrified glances. But like, you just ha you just have to understand. Like, it's, it, yeah, it's just like me being silly. Like, <laughs> like they probably thought I was <laughs> about to like tell them three riddles. But like, you just you just have to get it, okay? You know who gets it? The voices in my head. Okay, relax. There's only two. That speak English. Kidding, guys. Please, like, how do I be normal? Like, seriously. I have to complain again. I can't do it. I actually can't. 
I'm truly losing my mind. Having TikTok followers in high school is truly not for the weak. Like, I am literally fighting on the front lines every single day. It's, it's the same guys in my math class. And as I'm saying this, I am preparing myself for the conversation that we're going to have about it tomorrow. I saw that TikTok you made about me. Dissing me. It is like these men are watching me on CCTV cameras at all times. Literally today we changed seats. Not me sitting with a TikTok famous girl, not me- Bro, let it rest. The joke is tired. If one of these men says one more thing about my TikTok, you're waking up in the Bermuda Triangle, okay? Don't play with me. Bro, this freaking TikTok famous girl. You're waking up in Ikea aisle 24 tomorrow, okay? Watch out. No, but literally, I am- I don't say a thing in this class. I'm pleading the fifth, but they keep talk- they keep speaking to me. I'm gonna start charging them to speak to me. This kid turns to me and goes, who do you think you are? 2.3 million- I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I One thing about me, if someone is like, have you ever seen this show or movie? I'm gonna be like, yes. Even if I've never heard of it a day in my life, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, my favorite. My favorite, thank you. Like, I'll be like, yes, love, love that one. And then I look it up and I'm like, what in God's name are you watching? What is this? And I commit to the people pleasing. Like my friend a couple years ago was like, you need to watch Avatar The Last Airbender. And I was like, okay. Didn't watch it. She came over once and she was like, what episode are you on in the show? And I was like, let me go to the bathroom and then I'll tell you. I looked it up in the- <laughs> I feel like this is something I should be telling my therapist. Probably. Also, one time my friend was like, have you heard this song? You know this song? And I was like, yes, I know this song. And he turned it on and, and he was singing and I was like- <laughs> Can I be normal? Like, I don't know what I think- uh, Do I think the world is gonna blow up if I am honest with someone and tell them I've never seen this shit day in my life? These two girls I was friends with for months have literally just been talking behind my back to each other about how I'm corny, making fun of everything I say. Uh, they're both obsessed with this crusty dude who has called my friend slurs. What? Oh, but he's so fine. Oh my god, I want to kiss him. <laughs> you know what you can kiss next? My ass. Me and one of the girls were supposed to match Halloween costumes, but she told the other girl she didn't want to. You know who you should dress up as? Someone who doesn't have a fucking 1.2 GPA. Remember all those gifts I gave you? I'm gonna break into your house, take them all back, and take a giant poop on your bed. Fucking punk ass bitch. Okay, guys, the jig's up. Let's, can we, wh why is Snapchat still a thing? Just delete it. Maybe you just have it to post on your story. Okay. This is awkward. Every other app has that, too. If you're not allowed to have other apps, take a Polaroid, paint a still picture, I don't care. Snapchat is the corniest app I've ever seen. Have you ever seen someone, like, take a, a snap in public? It's so bad. I can't. <laughs> oh, I can't. Guys, I have a million followers. It's kind of weird, because most... Uh, it's kind of weird, because when most people hit a million, they just kind of stay there, and then, like, slowly creep into a relevancy. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm having a stroke right now. They like creep into a relevancy, you know? So if that happens to me, I will be back. And I will actually be back as a stand-up comedian. So the other day I was not- <laughs> So the other- I know, I'm funny. Uh, it's January, which means Valentine's Day is coming up, so. Big month, big month for um, Annoying people. And I'm not talking about couples, I'm talking about the single people who won't SHUT UP! I'm spending Valentine's Day alone once again. <laughs> because you're a freak show! Something needs to be done with these people. I'm gonna make you spend a night at a Five Nights at Freddy's establishment. I'm just letting you know I'm free February 14th. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this anymore. All these people are posting the same common sense lacking thing over and over again that they probably got from Twitter. Traffic's not real. Just drive. <laughs> and the people saying, How are y'all getting banned? Just block TikTok. Like, I look like I'm balding. <sighs> Think, um, delete your account. Hey guys, I was about to come on here and tell a funny little story about my grandma. So I called my dad and I was like, Hey, can I tell this story or is it like a fucking family gem? He said, Yes. But, she just passed away. What? He just dropped that on me like he was telling me what he had for dinner. You might be thinking, well, you could still tell the story in her honor. Okay. The story was about how she volunteered to give these two pet chickens a home. And then she cooked them and ate them for dinner. Like, these two people adored these chickens. And she was like, yes, we have a barn, we have a huge property, we will take care of the chickens. 
She took care of them, all right. Ah, ah, I can't do this anymore. Did you know that babies can't drink water? I'm just kidding around, guys. I'm fine. Really? No. Really? Really? <laughs> I'm fine. Have you ever... <laughs> Have you ever been watching like a TV show or a movie and you're attracted to one of the characters and you're you're actually just like something's not right in my brain. Like my friend was like hear me out and she showed a picture of Jimmy Fallon, but then when I pull out a picture of the house from Monster House, y'all want to say boo. When I pull out a pic of Dwight from the office like Ron Swanson, you know, like the guy from Hello Neighbor. All right. And they were like, "Oh, you're trolling. <laughs> you're just trolling. Stop." Yeah, I'm playing. No, but I'll actually just be watching something and I'm like, someone didn't raise me right. Someone didn't take their prenatal vitamins. Something isn't right. Stop making me look deep within myself. I don't like this game. I'm not going to watch TV anymore. Okay, hear me out. Everyone is so concerned about what they're going to look like when they're old. I'm just concerned about being an old person because old people are so weird. First of all, they stare at you with no remorse. You don't become a hologram when you turn like 75. I can see you staring at me like this. Two, why do old people moan when they go to the bathroom? I was at the airport on Saturday and the lady in the stall next to me, mm. she did her business and literally just, oh, <laughs> and I actually laughed out loud and I felt really bad, but she probably couldn't hear me anyway. Why do naps beat my ass and rob my family? Like, look, I just took a nap. Look at my... But I look like I just got stung by a bee, bro. <laughs> but seriously, every time I take a nap, when I wake up, it, I have to recover. And it takes like two and a half years, approximately. Like, the price of taking this nap today, I don't think I'm gonna make it to my graduation. I literally can't do a single thing after taking a nap. The only answer is to go back to sleep. Forever. No. But I've never woken up from a nap looking this terrible. Like, I look like I just got back alley lash extensions, bro. What? <laughs> yes, I just got my lashes done. Looking good. Okay. Thank you. <gasps> it's us not, it's a team. I was thinking about how I was a kid once. That's so sad. Like 10 years ago, I was five, okay? So when someone, like, calls me ugly or something, you know, says I'm built like an improper fraction, you, my friend, are bullying a former five year old. And, like, it's glitter in my eyebrow. Like, when I was like three, I had no idea the hardships that I would face, like climbing the rock wall at school. That was terrible. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I just had a moment of weakness. Happens about once every 28 days. What is currently entertaining me right now is people who need everyone to know that they're learning how to drive. Literally everyone I know right now. It never stops. The pictures behind the wheel. What? How do you think I'm going to react? <laughs> what? Like... Yeah, I'm just at peace when I'm driving. So you're driving half a mile an hour in a Walmart parking lot with your dad in the front seat. I don't think that's the same thing. And the worst part is, is they're all like, um, have you gotten your permit yet? Have you gotten your license? No, okay, no. But I will, sometime within the next 15 years, it will be done. Oh, well, I got mine. <laughs> okay. Then crawl out of my ass and get back to your mother's Honda Civic for your 50 hours of driving. Like, I don't... It's all fun and games till you're driving and I speed past you on a unicycle. Guys, I have something to say that desperately needs to be said. And I'm gonna be the one to do it. Instagram reels are funnier than TikToks. And I'm 100% serious too. I'm not even joshing you. I'm not even razzing you. <laughs> I'm so serious. TikTok has literally just become, it's, it's, uh, uh, please buy my toenail clipping from TikTok shop. Oh, shut the fuck. When I watch TikToks, I truly feel so mindless. It's just like, when he likes her Instagram post and buy my shadow work, but, but on Instagram reels, I see furries and people falling. That's all I need. Truly. That's all. The only problem with Instagram reels is you can see what people like. And I feel like I'm intruding, like, I'll see a post and it's like, when you put it in her butt, <laughs> and I'll just like look down and see like, my fifth grade teacher liked it or some shit. Other than that, can we, can everyone move to Instagram? Um, so a relationship sounds nice, I guess, but it also sounds like the most embarrassing thing ever. Like worse than like shitting my pants in public. 
and peeing at the same time. All right, this one, I have to be serious. Like imagine me at like a candlelight dinner, like you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Uh. That's what I would do. I would, that's no way I just did that. This is, I don't think I have to worry about being in a relationship actually. <laughs> I'm not, I don't even want to continue the video. If you have a friend who does and says the most outrageous things in public, loudly, free, free you, because it is not for the weak. I never want to tell someone to like be quiet because I know how that feels, but it is a little different when we're in a classroom full of people and you're like, I want to impregnate my male English teacher. Like that's a bit different. You know, sometimes I'll like subconsciously match the energy and then I'm like, what am I doing in public? What is happening? What do you mean? I'm going, guys, it's freak o'clock surrounded by people. What is happening? The worst part is my friends talk about people who are two feet away. Girl, look to your left. That's who you just said looks like Amy Schumer. Today in class, my friend goes, I like him younger. I swear to God, five heads turn. I'm losing sleep over this. This is my last week of school before exams, and then the school year's over, and that just now hit me. I just forgot that the last week of school in high school isn't like a bunch of bounce houses. <laughs> Well, it kind of is. We don't have a dress code. But I need to study. I need to make the biggest academic comeback ever since I peaked in, like, second grade. Also, it, like, just registered that when you fail a class, you have to take the class again. So how do I register for a C4 bomb to strap to my chest? TikTok, don't take this down. I'm just razzing ya. I'm just... Ah. Bro. And my friends are like, why? Why haven't you been studying? I don't... I don't know. I was in the bathroom. I don't know. It'll be fine. Just, do you guys think it's too late to tell my math teacher I don't know how to do fractions? <laughs> um. Yeah. Actually, I'm not slippery. I'm just wearing a mask right now. Got you. Never judge a book by it. But anyway, we're gonna test and see if I'm slippery. <laughs> do I look thick? So I'm currently off my meds, right? <laughs> and that doesn't mean like, I'm going insane. I'm just having withdrawal. <gasps> so I'm just not mentally here. Like the past three days have literally felt like GTA. Let me walk you through how it's been. Yesterday I had to give a presentation in history class. This is what it was like essentially. So I'm giving the presentation and my teacher asks me a question. I just didn't even process it. So the kid like sitting in the front row was like, he, he was like, missiles. This is me. Missile. Then today, <laughs> you know that one DM feature where it's like, say hi to, ah, and it's the like wave emoji, like, yay! Ah! I sent that to someone on accident, and I was so mortified, I spent the rest of study hall like this. And then I sneezed, and the kid next to me said, bless you, and I said, please give me my meds back. Nothing feels real. Please. I hate lactose intolerant people. Like, that's actually, if we're friends, and you're like, I think I'm lactose intolerant, we're done. We're over. I already deleted your number. Like, what, you have like a submissive stomach? Just tolerate it. Like one time in like fifth grade, I was having some mysterious bowel movements. And my mom thought that I was lactose intolerant. Two weeks of I can't believe it's not butter. It was so terrible. I actually cried. Not even because I just love dairy so much because that's so embarrassing. I was not lactose intolerant. It was pinworm. This is good, I like it. Um, I would quit your day job, start looking for comedy clubs. One thing though, um, it's actually just tinted chapstick. Cocksucker. I got homecoming court, which is exciting. I've never gotten anything like that, except for a group of girls think I've rigged it. <laughs> Damn it, you got me. I snuck into school, dead of night, made 300 burner emails, and all voted for myself. Just kidding. I mean, no, someone really didn't think I rigged it. But I'm not trying to, like, brag. I mean, it's not really an accomplishment. This is speaking in high school activities. I just think it's funny, because I have, like, two friends, and this is what I look like in class. Yeah, what the fuck is she doing? Is she having a fucking episode? What the fuck? Oh my god, I hate early comments <laughs> so much. Early. <laughs> Who wants some early juice? Get out of my face. Pressure of not knowing what to comment when you're early. <gasps> then don't comment. If you I hate modern romance or the lack of romance. Oh, I forgot I shaved a chunk out of my eyebrows. Why are there steps to dating now? Just confess your love on one knee. Knife to throat. With tears and a horse. 
and fireworks. It's not that hard. Like, what in God's fucking name is a talking stage? Have you been mute up until now? Oh, I can't. In the apocalypse of online daters, like, no hey, but come, come on now. All I have to do is unplug your router. You're single now. Um, I was crying, and then, oh my god, someone got me this from my Amazon wish list. That's so nice. I was fine, but every time I look at it, it makes me want to cry. <clears throat> that was very nice of you. I'm fine, guys. I think I'm just about to start my period. I think it's so funny when couples break up and then just air it out on social media and like try to act so unbothered. Like someone will post like, finally free. You were sucking a fart out of their butt two seconds ago. Or like the second they break up, they'll be like, <laughs> taking boyfriend applications, taking girlfriend applications. How about you send in a job application? And it's one thing to post indirectly about your ex, but some people just, they just go right in. Like, hello, my ex is named Marcus Alexander the Third, and he likes fingers up his butt. Like, just no shame, fully, fully out there. And it's embarrassing. Please stop. Also, why do people change their profile picture to a black screen when they break up? Like, what is that? What is that supposed to do? Just pick an anime character or something. Be can you be normal? Girl, people in my school are being mean to me. Because God forbid I'm not a cute cheerleader. No, I don't know how to do a round off. And no, I'm not enrolled in the sweet holy mother of God academy on St. Jesus Street. So sue me! America just can't accept that someone who has stuffed animals in their room and K-pop idols on their wall can also have a life. Right, guys? Tell them. Tell them I have a life. I have one flaw. That's a lie. I like making people who hate me hate me even more. Example, this guy in 7th grade didn't like me. <laughs> Probably for a multitude of reasons. But I didn't like him either. And he got caught smoking, and so I sent him a link to a YouTube video that said how to not get caught smoking. <laughs> and then I said, sorry, my cock slipped. <laughs> That's funny. I was a 7th grader. He blocked me, though. This other guy doesn't like me. Because I didn't like him first, and I called him an asswipe. So I go he was walking so slow in front of me. So I just tapped him on the shoulder. I was like, hey, buddy. You got a little brown spot on your pants. But he got so offended, he turned to his friend. He was like, bro, she always has some shit to say, bro. Which I guess is true. Another example, my middle school principal. I should not tell that story. You look like Sophie from, Zoop from Z Zootopia, whatever. I'm not gonna lie to you, this trend is booty butt balls. Okay, you can do better than that. You can do better. If you didn't know, it's a trend where people are like trying to convince everyone that this movie, Zepoth, Zepoth, that this movie is real when it is, in fact, not real. Like, this is the extent of the prank. Huge prank, guys. You look like someone from a movie you've never heard. Huge prank, okay? Huge. Maybe I'm just this mad about it because that's all my comments have been, but I can't take it. Oh my god, you look like Kate from Zapatha. You look like a ball sack. If you want to do some real damage, let's convince people that biological men can get pregnant. Why, why not? I, I mess with that. Getting old enough to learn the lore about your family is so weird. You know, it's just a Tuesday night, and then all of a sudden, oh, hey, Uncle Ronnie, yeah, he assassinated JFK, yeah, he. A hypothetical, by the way. Literally, they just drop it on you as if it won't literally change the way you view your family for the rest of your life. Yeah, you know, your Aunt Miriam is the reason Amelia Earhart went missing. I don't know if this is going to be relatable, but I'm not, I'm not really talking about, like, family drama. Oh, Aunt Nancy stole my packet watch. No, it's it's like, do not tell your friends about this. Like that kind of lore. Like, what? I don't want to go missing. This video's a joke. I just got back from my first homecoming. Just got back from my last homecoming. What can I say? It smelled like there were bodies under the floorboards. And I... I felt bad because this girl was like, oh my god, you look amazing, you look amazing, you look so good, Ava. Ava, you look so good. I was like, oh my god, stop. Who are you? I just felt bad because I was so awkward because I didn't know who she was and I didn't know if I was supposed to know who she was. So I was like, thank you. I, I had a mini stroke. <sighs> Let's just say I will not be returning to homecoming. You know where my trust issues come from? People who just be lying for no reason. And yes, I do that sometimes, okay? I do. But it's only okay when I do it. 
Like, if I'm telling a story and you don't seem interested, I have to tell you that I'm seeing visions of, like, John F. Kennedy or something. But some people just, just do it for no reason. Like, I will be attentively listening to a story and they'll be like, <laughs> And then the president walked in. Why? Like, what is the reason? Why? Like, one time, one time my friend fully tried to convince me, you know, I almost became a K-pop star. Oh. <laughs> Did you? Oh. And some other girl was like, yeah, my house is made entirely of glass. <laughs> what? I've been to your house. It's at the end of a cul-de-sac. If anything, the moral of the story is if you're going to lie, it has to be thought out and you got to stick with it forever. My favorite thing is every year, everyone above the age of like 14 is like, guys, it doesn't feel like Christmas. What's going on? Is it just me? Oh, does it not feel like Christmas? Well, when you're 25 years old. Guys, something's different. Like, you are in high school and on Prozac. Like, of course, Christmas is not going to be the same as when you're like five years old. And it's every year, every holiday. Uh, it just doesn't feel like Flag Day. Oh my god, you're not in the Christmas spirit? When Thanksgiving was like yesterday? Uh, bullets have left guns slower. Watch a Christmas movie. Or you say one more stupid thing, I'm, I'm going to be posted up in your chimney. You just watch it. There's not a single situation more awkward than having a friend who thinks they can sing. Because, like, you'll just, you'll just be sitting there, and they're like, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> like, they look at you, and they wait for the compliment, and no. Right now, I'm looking at you, trying not to tell you that you sing like you just got your prostate checked. And I feel like these people always put so much effort into it. Like this. Ooh! God damn, it does not take that much effort to sing. Like, I'm I'm checking if there's like a baby crowning. Ooh! Okay. She's so villain, but angelic type of pretty. <laughs> Bro, why am I literally a Disney villain? Answer my three riddles. Oh! oh. And you shall pass. How does my eyebrow go that high? <laughs> Stop talking, Prince Charming, and make me a sandwich. Yeah, someone cast me right now. Eh. Wait, I lost it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I actually think the funniest part of all this is that this was perceived as angelic pretty. <laughs> what do you do? You get to heaven, and this is the first thing you see. <laughs> Are you a guy? <laughs> uh, I prefer the term handsome man. Nothing is nothing is funny about this because I already know this person was not joking. They're just genuinely genu genuinely gen genuinely asking. But I don't think I look like a man. I think I look like maybe maybe an in-between, like if a man and a woman had a baby. I don't do I actually do I actually look like a man? Like if I was trying to enter a men only bar, would they let me in? <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking, I already know. You know what? This actually has me thinking because Literally every man that I know has liked me turned out to be gay or at least dabbled in the male species and that's that tells me all I need to know so I'm hey, Shut up! I feel like everyone knows someone who's just convinced there's some kind of villain Hey man, I saw those guys picking on you, are you okay? I don't think you understand that that was on purpose What? And it was merely me using reverse psychology and they played right into my I hand thought. Hey, you look really familiar a lot of people tell me I look like Bruce Wayne. Oh, you're the guy who walks into the girl's bathroom. You're a fool. That was on purpose. Hey, excuse no, me? Don't, please don't call the cops. <clears throat> Listen, I don't think we're gonna work out. It's just, what? what? I'm sorry, it's just. Uh, you're not terribly important to me. <clears throat> so we're just quoting Patrick Bateman now? You know who that is? Hear me out. I think the easiest species to talk to is like the trademark straight man who's just like like i love it like you know what i'm talking about like that just the the genre of man just like the aloof straight man who's just kind of like agrees with everything you say like yeah and i feel comfortable talking to them because men are sassy these days men have become mean girls anyways like i feel like me and a lot of men are both lacking social skills equally so i can be like have you seen the the new episode of the and then they'll be like, yeah, we're bonded. Immediately we're bonded. Like, I feel like I could confess like a heinous crime to a man and they'd be like, yeah, let's go. And that's a beautiful thing because a lot of men are me. The other day, a man looked at me like this. Go get out my face. 
Okay, I feel like everyone talks about how they love like knowing someone has a crush on them. Girl, I hate it. Ew, I hate it so much. Like when you just know. Because there's this guy at my school and he, bro, he be lurking like he's a lurker. Okay, cause like today, um, we were like lined up at the door to leave class and he was like inching closer to me. Tell me why I was like fighting for my life trying not to clock him in the face. Is that evil? Is this a sign of low self-esteem? I feel like it is. Because, like, they're, like, plotting. What if this guy literally doesn't... What if someone, like, farted and he was trying to get away? <laughs> no, but I swear this guy wants me so bad. No, but, like, like they're plotting. Like, in their brain. You just know. And, like, when they talk to you, they, they seem, like, nervous. <laughs> I'm just uncomfortable knowing I could be watched. I need to be ugly sometimes. I need to sit like this. Um, we don't care what you got for Christmas. Shut up. I do. I care exactly what you got for Christmas. I want to see everything you've ever purchased in your entire life. I love it. I want a 4K zoomed in flash on video of you doing... <laughs> oh my god. Of you, um, showing which... Is this like a fetish or I don't know. It's just like, it's so exciting to me. What do you do? You're showing me what you got for Christmas. You look over, I'm naked. I really just say that. Is that actually a, like a like a fetish? Is that a thing? You got, you got a lamp for Christmas? That is crazy. Wow. What else? People freaking out about Snapchat AI is probably the funniest thing I've seen in a long time. Oh, it has my location. Do you seriously think that there's not a government assigned tracking device up your ass right now? Because I guarantee there is. And what do you think this Snapchat AI bot is going to do? You think a fucking router is going to show up at your doorstep? Of course, AI is getting kind of scary. I do have a reoccurring dream of my phone holding a revolver to my head because I accidentally called Siri Alexa. However, artificial intelligence has been around for so long. Why are we hating now? They're going to steal our jobs. I would love a robot therapist. Anyway, it's just not that serious. Like, do you think we're all gonna turn into machines? Sorry, I powered down for a second. What's up? I'm a nice person, with the exception of when someone bumps into me in the school hallway because I will literally turn into the Joker. And I'm not talking about like a little like, oh, excuse me. Okay, I'm talking about the people that literally turn into a propeller and catapult me directly at the sun at 120 miles per hour. This happens average three times a day, like maybe because I'm built like a blade of grass, but I will just walk through the hallway and I'm getting pushed around. Okay, and it brings out a kind of unbridled rage that I've never felt within myself. I, it ruins my day, okay? I was in the lunch line the other day and some kid like had his back to me and he like backed up and like pushed me fully. I was like, Ugh! and maybe this was like obnoxious of me because it was obviously an accident, but y'all, I gave him the nastiest look. I, I hit him with the... Ooh, that was so corny to do in silence. <laughs> Batty comebacks. <laughs> why did I... Ooh, why did I get him with that? It truly is so humbling to have, like, really smart friends. Because, like, I'm an above-average student, okay? Uh, kinda. But I have, like, insanely smart friends, okay? Because I only have two of them. Anyway, I literally asked them if they wanted to have a sleepover, and one of them was like, No, I don't want to have a sleepover before midterms. Midterms are in three weeks. And I'm not, I'm not trying to shade. I just, like, can't relate at all. Like... Sometimes they start talking about like the super difficult classes they're taking and I'll just like go nonverbal and stare at a tree. Like it makes me just want to like get my life together. But I won't. Anyway, yeah, no shade. <laughs> no shade, guys. But if one of them complains about getting an 89, one more time, I'm going to push him down the stairs. The queen died? <coughs> oh my god, I'm next. <coughs> Do you think all British people got like a signal in their brain the second it happened? What is this? Okay, where's the lamb sauce? Oh my god. How do I become the next queen? I'll just like send an email or something? First rule, I would make British people illegal. What if they were like going through her room and they just found like a stack of Playboys? <coughs> I'm gonna get struck by lightning for this video. Stop saying TikTok's getting banned. Just, just do it or don't. Okay, stop playing with me. Because the same thing happens every single time. Guys, what's happening to TikTok? Oh my god, it's it's happened four times. Go outside. Sh just in case, guys, follow my Instagram. No, no, I don't want to see your skate clips. Shut up. I'm sorry. I'm a little tense. But what also really gets my goat is is when adults are like, yeah. 
should have banned that long time ago. They're stealing your information. You just signed your soul away to Candy Crush. What are you talking about? And it's just funny how the, the whole concern is like about your information getting stolen. Bro, bro, come on. You got a microchip getting swiped through your ass crack every night. Like all your information has already been stolen. Relax, relax. What precious information is China going to get? Okay, other than edits of grown men in my collection. Who said that? Guys, what was that? They're listening. Be serious, old people. Go buy something on Facebook Marketplace. Get out of my face. Get out. Hey guys, I'm trying to figure out what my personality is gonna be when I go back to school next year. So let's let's give it a go. Okay, first one, like extroverted, quirky, popular. Maybe not. Maybe not popular. Yo, can I sit here? Thanks. Bro, this class sucks, bro. Bro, this class drives me vans off the wall, bro. I hate this class, bro. Uh, okay, number two, mysterious. Obviously. <laughs> bro, I okay, number three, maybe I'll just be the weird kid. You know, who like miraculously always has their ass crack showing a little bit. Oi. Beck. Please finger coil your hair and diffuse it. Thank you. And I love the smiley face at the end, okay? You're not gonna be smiling when I diffuse a hornet's nest in your bed. Yes, I diffuse my hair. God. Okay? I'm just mad because I was filming that video and I was like, my hair looks bad. I hope no one says anything about it. I hope no one named Olivia says anything about it. Why would you say that? Why? God just be making people, bro. You're peculiar. Speaking of God, I saw that cross in your bio, and I have to tell you, thy neighbor does not feel very loved right now. So, quit playing on my styler. Also, you will start coughing in five minutes. Also, I'm gonna block you. Yeah, I'm that mad. I'm mad. Any, any class clown, I have to do you a service and tell you that you are not funny. Okay, why the frick is this teacher yapping right now? <laughs> So when you imagine yourself telling this joke and people laughing, are you surrounded by the whole cast of Disney Channel? Or I promise you, since elementary school, they have had five jokes. <gasps> Is that a phone? Are you on your phone? Are you on- I have a question. Are you on a deodorant strike? Buddy, if they open up a comedy club targeted towards five-year-olds with a nine-hour screen time, I promise you, you will be the first to know, okay? Until then, do your exit ticket, like- Hi guys, I'm gonna try on homecoming dresses because I'm too- I don't care enough to go out and buy one, so I'm just gonna find one. Let's go! Okay, I'm in my storage room right now because I have dresses from my dead grandma. Sorry. I'm trying to, like, climb up here. Okay, first dress, I'm grabbing the back just because I'm lacking. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Bro, no, dresses do not suit me at all, bro. This dress isn't so bad, and I even put on heels. I'm kind of trying to hide the gams, though, because I don't really shave my legs, but hey, that's just life in the jungle, huh? Okay, bruh, dresses are so 2012. I'm gonna pull up like this, and if I get homecoming queen, big, big if, I'm gonna make the king wear the dress, and I'm gonna make him shave his legs. See you guys then. Why did we as a society just skid past tripophobia? Because who are these people, and why are they scared of small holes? You wanna talk shit? Like I won't put a poppet in your bed. Ah, this triggered my tribophobia. Spell tribophobia. <sighs> Get the fuck out of here. Why does it make me irrationally angry when someone stinks? Like, if I walk through a fart, it's raps. I, the rage is unmatched. How dare you fart? Ironically, I am actually on the toilet. L like, no disrespect, I know some people don't have access to like, all the hygiene necessities but there was a kid in my class i kid you not he just smells like a fart like he just sits there and farts all day like i guarantee you it is like hoover dam down there he is <laughs> like bo is a different story it literally smells like a sulfur leak and yesterday i like i coughed it was, it was kind of a gross cough but he went are you serious you're covering your mouth when every single day I have to sit here getting buzzed off a fart and I don't say anything? I'm not trying to hate on farting, but what is the science behind this kid smelling like a fart? The whole period! You ever see a video on your 40 page? It has zero likes. 
and you think, am I the only one who has to bear this? Like, if the video had thousands of views, they would begin to rip it apart. But no, I'm the only viewer. I have to live with this. I have to die with this video. I can't bond with anyone else. It's just me. This is my impression of the type of video I'm talking about. If you're an only child, you are not real. Maybe I'm just a hater, but I can't imagine an only child having a very interesting life. I just imagine all only children are homeschooled and gain consciousness at age 12 and their biggest dream is to become like a state senator or something. That's not to say that everyone with siblings is bearable though, because if you come up to me and say some shit like, uh, yes, I'm a girl, but I do have three brothers, so I will definitely kick your ass. I'm going to be on national news. Just if you're an only child, you missed so many character building experiences. Like, for instance, the time I threw a Barbie doll at my sister, or the time I threw a Barbie house at my sister, or the time I threw a clock radio at my sister. And that build, I did her a favor. Okay, what do you guys mean when you say, you're too pretty to be acting like this? When someone like says something mean or like does something weird and someone's like, no, you're too pretty for that. What, what do you think like ugly people act like then? Yup, I'm ugly and I hate everything and I love to litter and I just pushed a child into traffic. I'm just so lost because I've been seeing it forever. Like someone can literally be like, you're just push someone into the Grand Canyon. And the comments would be like, Bay, no, your lashes are too good to be doing things like this. What? Like, actually, am I misreading this or something? Because I used to be booty butt ugly, bro. I had like a, a unibrow and a haircut of a 40 year old camp counselor. And that gives you integrity. That doesn't make you evil. Okay? Appearances aren't everything, guys. Okay, fine. People be, be committing atrocities, too. Okay, people always hate on freshmen, right? I don't hate on them. Um, I'm scared. Uh, one of them pushed me into the lockers this week. And from what I could tell, we were not filming a 2000s drama comedy, so... I don't know why that happened. So, yeah, maybe next week someone will steal my lunch money. Because I want them to like me. But they... They're mean. I wanted the kind of dynamic where they're like a young person doing my yard work and I'm like an old person that invites them in for cookies and lemonade. Is that too much to ask? Apparently so, because they're sassy. Okay, calm down, booster seat. I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. You're a fun party to go to be around. So help me God, if this is sarcastic and you're telling me that I'm not actually a fun party to go to be around, I'm gonna flip out! I just feel like if I'm not a fun party to go to be around, <laughs> then I'd be really upset. Okay, all jokes aside, you, you totally, you butchered it. You screwed up the delivery. Let me show you the right way. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, kid. <sighs> yeah. You're fun at parties. Hope this helped. Do you know what I would give to know another language, bro? I would do anything except learn it. I give up every time. Okay, Duolingo, it's not in the cards. Stop hitting my cellular. Like, I would love to just be like with a group of people like, <laughs> ah, these fools, and just start, just start whipping it out. What? Just start speaking another language out of nowhere. Like, hey, meet the ball. Like, what? Wh Whatever. I speak a little Italian, like things are heard around the house. I have a fanculo. Your mother and I are getting a divorce, uh, stuff like that. But you know those white guys that be like going up to Chinese people and acting clueless and then they're like, Nihama? Like I would love to be one of those, one of those little white men. Like I, I'm so confused because I feel like I should just know all the languages. Like why, do, like I feel like in the next update, we should like just know all the languages because that would be so cool without having to learn it because I'm not doing all that, man. I'm not. Oh my god, I have so much to complain about today. Why, why, why do people act mad peculiar in the school hallways just for attention? Because there's no way that someone's parents neglect them that much that they have to do that. These two guys kept slamming themselves into the locker super loud, and their like inbred ginger friend kept screaming. <laughs> that was so mean. Okay, and there's like this garage door in our school, I don't know how to explain it, and they ran into it and left a dent. Do you know how embarrassing that is? That's the equivalent of like leaving a humongous aspirin. Like, no, how are you not embarrassed that you just did that? Like, 
What? What? Oh my god, you screamed really loud. You're the next Chris Rock. I hate you. You know what would be funny? Me compressing every atom in your body and using you as a golf ball. <laughs> would that be funny? Wait, I have another one. What if, as a joke, you like bought deodorant and like put it on? As a joke, obviously. This is terrible. I'm gonna say it anyway. <laughs> How is it that the biggest creators on this app are the most unfunny people to grace this miserable earth? Are these people stealing their video ideas right out of Lele Pond's drawer? Who are you? I'm not saying I'm Seinfeld, but there's no way that these people watch their videos back and laugh. Like, small creators are the funniest. It's like when you hit a million, you sell your soul, but instead you're signing a contract with fucking Disney Channel. What are these jokes? I just hit a million, so it should be coming soon. Guys, we've got company. Oh my god, I'm funny and I don't care what anyone says about it. Truly, one of the hardest things to watch is a celebrity or an influencer being canceled and them handling it in the worst way physically possible. One, trying to act like unbothered by it. Worst possible scenario. How are you indirect posting to the entirety of the internet? Can't cancel somebody who doesn't care. <laughs> and meanwhile, they like bombed an orphanage. Or when they when they pull out the mm, cancel culture. I cannot stand. Can I can't stand cancel culture. No, I did not mean to drown those two toddlers. This is this is cancer called. What the <laughs> cancel culture number three? Pretending like nothing happened. That's that's wild. But it has the highest success rate. Like I feel like at that point I have to respect the grind. You know what I mean? Yes, I hate women, but here's my new album featuring 21 Savage. I don't know if it's a universal thing or if it's just my mother, but she is convinced that if I am standing in a six mile radius with a man, we are in love and secretly dating. And we have grandchildren. I could tell my mother, hey, I made a friend today. He's cool. And she would be like, oh, I wasn't born yesterday. Okay, I'm not an idiot. God forbid I have a male friend. She thinks we already started a family heirloom. I have a, a male friend who has a boyfriend. I still see a twinkle in her eye like she's not convinced. Okay. <laughs> okay, if you say you're not romantically involved, I'll believe you. Okay. <laughs> There's this guy and everyone's obsessed with him. I hate him so much. I can't complain to anyone because if I bring up his name... Oh, my little baby sparkly boo! Yes, I love him! I hate you. No one cares that he looks like humans before evolution. He's a man, so people are like, I like this guy. Well, guess what, buddy? Not me. Okay, I promise you I will dedicate the rest of my life to making sure that every single beverage you drink until the day you die has just a little bit of my pee in it. See you at school tomorrow, buddy. Okay, you people are playing fast and loose with the word autistic, okay? Because why is everyone like, I think I might be a little autistic. And they say that because they like hopped a fence or something like like just say you want to call yourself quirky But can't because people think it's cringe like just say that literally just say that because when I actually pull up to the function and tell people I'm autistic They're like We know no, okay, but seriously like the other day these people were sitting in a circle and I hear the tail end of their conversation Someone's like oh like it's obvious that she's autistic and I pull up in a wheelchair, you don't get any context on why I'm in a wheelchair. So I just roll up and I say, been there. And everyone was like, oh. I'm kidding, they actually laughed. But I'm, I'm trying to make a point, okay? The point is they probably thought I was just joshing because uh, everyone says they're autistic as a freaking joke, but I'm freaking serious, guys. I think that was kind of apparent, though. I'm so sick of people on TikTok thinking that we live in some kind of movie. Y'all will just post something lacking so much common sense and be like, Imagine. What if we all just stop paying our bills? What are they gonna do about it? Your electricity will get cut out? Mm. Do not think that I forgot about the- Imagine we all walk out of the White House to this song, and it's on fire. Bitches be having a playlist called Overthrowing the Government, and the first song is Hayloft by Mother Mother. You did not just manipulate your mom into letting you sit in the front seat, you just finally met the height requirements. You are not an anime character. Hearing that someone is talking bad about you is literally treacherous because tell me why my friend was like, someone's talking trash about you and my bowels immediately started moving at the speed of light. Because, what are y'all saying? Because, first of all, talking trash, the only thing I can imagine is someone like, I'm gonna give you a knuckle sandwich. But s second, 
Sec- I don't even say anything. Like, I am pleading the Fifth Amendment at school every day. I am taking a vow of silence. I say maybe 20 words a day. So I would imagine it's because of my Tic Tac followers. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, okay? T what were you- what, what were y'all saying? Curiosity may have killed the cat, okay? But satisfaction brought it back, so whoever was talking, please just let- make an alt account. Let what is a high school party? Like, are those even real? What do you do? There's no occasion! You're just- you're- you're just in a room with a bunch of people from your school drinking? I would rather take 17 laxatives and then glue my ass cheeks together. And there are people in my grade, freshmen, they're like, Yeah, I'm going to a party this weekend! Uh, we're gonna do alcohol. That's- what the fuck? Like, I would literally rather play board games with my grandma. She's dead. And there are also people in my grade who are like, mm, I wish I was cool enough to get invited to parties. Who are you right now? Just wait until you're in college and have a real party instead of playing fucking cops and robbers in your uncle's backyard. I would do that. That sounds fun. Does anyone have a timeline on when buying concert tickets required a blood ritual? Like, why am I shivering in fear when I hear the term Ticketmaster? You used to just buy at the door, and now it's like, what time did Drake fart on March 22nd? What do you mean I have to know their mother's maiden name to get a presale code? What even is a presale code? Actually, I wouldn't know. I spent $20 to get one, and then I found out it's a raffle. It's not even guaranteed. Why? Why do you do it? Why? The tickets for this concert go on sale next Wednesday. I feel like I'm preparing to fight on the front lines. Like, I, I can't rest. What concert? No, no, no. No, no, no. You don't get to know. No. It's such a blood battle to get tickets. I'm gonna tell people there's like a sulfur leak at the arena. Yeah, guys, you don't want to go there. <laughs> but truly, what was the process before? When did this happen? Because I was not prepared for this last year. I had never bought concert tickets. I was on the toilet. Important detail. I pick my seats, wipe, go to buy and they're gone. They're sold out. Why do you do it? You see, I'm something of a magician, inventor, and chocolate maker. So quiet up and listen down. Nope, scratch that, reverse it. Hey guys, uh, I made a new friend recently and tell me why she's the first person to ever tell me that I blurt out weird and uncomfortable things. She wasn't being mean about it. She was joking around, but I was like, oh, you're right. Like, the first time we ever FaceTimed, um, I just told her that my grandma was on life support. And then today I told her, well, my grandma's no longer on life support. And she said, yay, I love your grandma. I don't even know your grandma. And I said, that's okay. My grandma doesn't know me. She has Alzheimer's. Oh, yeah. And then another time we were talking about how we both have, like, Instagram accounts for our dogs. You know, we were, like, making fun of each other for it. And she followed it, and I was like, oh, well... She's dead. Like, I sent her the account, knowing that my dog had already... I don't know why I did that. So I guess she was right, but she hasn't been scared away. So, as long as I don't tell her about my dad's side of the family, we're good. Okay, I'm sure you're just mad because I sound like a beautifully blossomed young man. And you probably sound like you have a stripper name, like Candy or Tickle Me Doe Face. Okay, so here's how I imagine you sound. If only you didn't sound like a man. <laughs> that was kind of hot. What? Okay. Yeah. Anyone else super thrown on right now? Okay. I forgot people from my school can see this. If your whole bit is being like an actual villain to your friends, like as a joke, get away from me. Like, I understand like banter, but with these people, you could literally just be like, good morning. <laughs> and they'd be like, what? That's why your dog died just to get away from you. Like, do you like me or not? Uh, but if you say anything back, they turn into the Joker. Like, how are you real? How can you dish out these horrendous insults? But if I say something back, you're like, okay, that name one father figure in your life. But like, I'd be feeling submissive because I like don't want to say, I just don't want to say things because I know that the response will be, gruesome but i feel like these people act like that because they're like deeply insecure so i try not to say anything back but trust i'm plotting okay trust that every single drink you have for the rest of your life will have a little bit of my pee in it okay unless you're into that then i'm not gonna do that okay is it relatable that i find any aspect of romantic love embarrassing no i just need extensive therapy okay i don't know what's wrong with me i don't but if i hear in a six mile radius, someone say, I miss my boyfriend. I'm sending an avalanche to your residence, okay? Like my friend got this like objectively adorable secret admirer letter. All I could think was, he 
He doesn't seem to admire the spell check feature. Oh yeah, and there's this guy. There's, there's this guy. I, I think, perchance, maybe, he has a little crush on me. <laughs> That's just embarrassing, like, <gasps> for me, not for him, like, <gasps> You got two seconds to back up before I send your address to a bunch of spiders, like, uh, Anyway, I kind of just watched everybody's Valentine's Day stories today like this. It's my, it's my bad. Happy Valentine's Day. If you're one of those people who shoot fireworks in your yard all night when it's not even 4th of July, just know that I'm gonna find you. <laughs> I'm gonna find you. No, seriously, is it is it just to make me go insane? Because there's no way you love America that much. Why is it every single night? Like, are we popping fireworks for next 4th of July? Like, what is- what? What is so endearing about it that you have to pop these fireworks for, like, three hours, okay? Just give it a good 15 minutes and then pop back inside, okay? Because it's, it's every night. Okay, how much- how much did you have to spend on fireworks? Like, what? Like, it literally just sounds like I can hear you having explosive diarrhea down the street. Like, it's, it's like- I guess what I'm trying to say is, 4th of July, I get it. But, I don't suppose every other night, you could climb out of my ass and do something else. Does it have- does it have to be fireworks? Okay, can we maybe do a jigsaw puzzle? Or something- do your taxes. Guys, I didn't know I was supposed to be, like, studying for midterm- like- I've never taken midterms before. I didn't know that they were this serious, where everyone is going home and cramming for hours. I haven't done a thing. Well, I've, what, four days? And I spent my study hall playing Family Guy Roleplay Simulator on Roblox, and I narrated it in Lois's voice. To be fair, uh, it's pretty good. Peter. Peter. I'm gonna fail my midterm. Dude, I don't want to be this person, but high school couples suck. Like, if you're gonna be a couple coupling, can you not do it right in front of the door I'm trying to enter? But the thing is, like, I'm not jealous. It's more like white, hot, fiery, unbridled rage and anger. Or like something to that effect. It just pisses me off. Like, dude, you're supposed to be in math. So unless you're measuring the circumference of your girlfriend's bounce houses, get to class. But they're happy. Awesome. Well, like, maybe be happy, like, off to the side. Or, like, under a tarp or something. Okay, maybe I am just, like, a bitter old woman at heart. I mean, why else would I be wearing a string of pearls? Like, seriously, you're skipping class to jiggle your boyfriend's man boobs? I'm gonna laugh when you don't graduate. Stop trying to ban TikTok, please. Oh my god, it looks like I have a little arm with no hand. But seriously, like, this is the third time they've tried to ban TikTok. Ban Twitter. I've seen one too many baloney ponies on that app, and my retinas need to break. And you know, the worst part of it all is when adults start talking about it. So, what are you gonna do when they ban Tic Tac? Uh, probably develop a dissociative mental disorder a couple years later than planned. Like, shut the fuck up! Like, old people just don't know what they're talking about. If there was a filter that could steal your information by scanning your eyes, I would have invented it already. I'm home alone right now. You know what that means. Sorry. Alexa, play Seabat by Hudson Mohawk. Seabat is only available with Amazon Music Fuck for 30 days and then $4.99 a month until you cancel. Alexa, stop. Based on this. Bro. Here's some music by Seatbelts on Amazon Music. Girl, I can't take it anymore. Today in my study hall, some guy I had never seen in my life tapped me on the shoulder and he was like, hey, I saw you walking earlier and I thought you were really beautiful. I was like, oh, he was like, could I get your number? I was like, oh. Okay, first of all, the mortifying thing is this is what I look like in the hallways. <laughs> anyway, it was very, very nice. I did not want to give Lil Bro my number though. But for like whatever reason, my hand teleported to my phone and I whipped it out. My phone, I, I whipped out my phone. And I like had my phone out like I was ready to give him my number. And then I just went, um, no. <laughs> and he was like, Oh, okay, never mind. Ah! And then his friends laughed. I told him it was nice though, because that was very sweet, but. Ah! I literally, I'm not supposed to be the, the embarrassed one, but that was like top 10 most embarrassing moments of my life. Like, I don't, like, I love, I love, I love. Let me tell you, overhearing a conversation between two high school boys, not for the week, okay? I understand, not all men, okay? Before you call me a man hater, look at my room, okay? Anyway, I overheard these two guys, like, body shaming this girl. In the classroom, when a girl is right here, like, why aren't you having these conversations at your little sleepover after you take a bath together? Anyway, they were talking about this girl, right? One of them goes, oh yeah, she was down bad for me. <laughs> she was down bad for me. 
sir she probably just asked you for a pencil not the point anyway the other guys are like suggesting that he throw that in her face like oh, didn't you want me <laughs> yeah <laughs> this kid goes i'm not that kind of guy gentleman alert okay what's not gonna be gentle is your bowel movements after i feed you a bunch of laxatives and glue your butt cheeks together okay so stop talking yo tell me why <laughs> tell me why i bought a swimsuit and these came with it bro are you never buy chicken cutlets from Sheen? What is this? Well, I know what it is. If anyone was wondering, these are, they're like they're like breast impl you you like put it in your swimsuit, I guess, and he gives you a little, a little something extra. How would these not fall out when you're swimming? Someone's gonna find this washed up on the beach in ten years and think they discovered a new life form. What are you trying to insinuate? It's like the seller knew me. Come on. No, but seriously, like I will be using these. Not for their intended use. I will be- My friend nominated me for homecoming queen. And it's like time to vote, right? And I'm winning. Ooh, oh my god. Like, I'm just so baffled because you would think because of my TikTok followers, I'd be a little bit popular. <laughs> Bitch, no. Literally a month and a half into the school year, my teacher called my name today and people were like, Who's Ava? Who's that? Ibra. Get the fuck out. And I didn't even tell anyone to vote for me. <laughs> I'm just that guy. <laughs> No, I probably won't even get it. But now I want it. Bru so yeah, like, before I thought Homecoming altogether was just corny. Nah, bruh. Now I want Homecoming Queen. People who are embarrassed to do anything other than just sit and mouth breathe are so boring. How allergic to whimsy are you? Why do you care? These girls asked me if I wanted to perform a K-pop dance, a Korean popular music dance at the school-wide, the school talent show public school do you know that that is a death march do you know that i said yes do you know why because i'm built different because i have star quality because i fear nothing because i'm whimsical like maybe people will be like okay why does this chick dance like she just walked into an electric fence but i'll be having fun so at the end of the day i'm alpha can we outlaw asking people if they have their driver's license because my day will be going so good until i have to tell someone no, I don't even have my learner's permit yet. <laughs> my friend was like, how do you not have your permit? Uh, I just took it online. My mom told me everything. Okay, I feel like that's the one test you don't want to cheat on, but to each their own. And there will also be people who are like, dude, relax. I'm 25. Don't even have my permit. That does not make me feel better. Like, that is exactly what I don't want to be, okay? I don't want to be 25 with a collection of sounds saved to use when I feel unsafe in an Uber, okay? I need to know how to drive. <clears throat> like, why can't my mommy just teach me? Why do I have to know how to park on a hill? No, I don't know what all the road signs mean, but I'm kind and I'm smart, kind of. Every time I DoorDash, I contemplate my life. I just spent $25 on an eight count nugget meal from Chick-fil-A when I could have just driven there, but I don't know how. <gasps> have you ever met someone who thinks like acting like they're a complete idiot makes them hilarious? Like this dude in my Spanish class is always like, wait, what does hola mean again? Like, are you dead ass saying this thinking people are gonna laugh? Wait a minute, this guy has jokes. He's quirky and he's goofy and he's silly. And like these people swear that comedy will only go backwards from this bit. It's actually insane. Like how do you at that grown ass age have such an underdeveloped sense of humor to be like, wait guys, why are water bottles called water bottles? <laughs> For fuck's sake. Of course I know what two plus two is. Jeez Louise, man. It's 22. Wait, this whole time America's not a city? Bro, what the fuck, bro? Dog, no one is laughing. Everyone is just thinking about how you're gonna need to get a GED. You're about to see something really chucklesome. Me behind bar. I don't know how to hide that I don't like someone because I make so many faces and it's like so obvious. First of all, today this girl kept talking to me when I had my headphones in and I gave her the nastiest side eye. Ooh. Next, I will break the fourth wall and like look at the camera. Um, am I on a TV show? No, not to the naked eye. I know I can't break the fourth wall if I'm not on a TV show. I can't stop doing it. I, I, yeah. Um. Oh yes, I did. I did remember to do that. Yes. Yeah. And then the last one, when someone just says something a little weird. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't hide those masculine features with makeup, big boy. <laughs> really? Because I think I did a pretty good job. Like, do you guys want to see a picture of me without makeup? This was me a few hours ago before I did my makeup. Um, I think the difference is, it's there. So, 
So personally, I'd say I, I'd, I'd so per personally I'd say I did a pretty good job. Did anyone else think that they were like so special as a kid? Not like that. Like I thought I was so different and intellectual. I was like, I'm the chosen one. Like, I genuinely thought I was like the main character of a movie or something. Was that anyone else? I googled it. Google said I was autistic. All right, Google. No spoilers, please. I, I haven't finished my assessment for that yet. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Like, the funniest thing is my grandpa used to dress up as Santa, and I would be like, have y'all met Santa? No. Because I'm the chosen one. Ah! But then I found out that Santa's not real, and then my grandpa died. I'm sorry. What was this video about again? But, okay, yeah, moral of the story, I just felt like I was different. I felt like I was, like, I was like, yeah, this is definitely what Jesus felt like in his last moments. I'm so different. <laughs> I think I am, actually. Have you ever met someone who, like, censors curse words that they say out loud? Do you know what I'm talking about? Because it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Like this. Hold on. Whoa. <sighs> Literally, what the f dude? Oh, my God. Bro, this king teacher... King is signing homework, dude. What the? Bro, what the H-E double hockey sticks? What's the sh Okay, I'm running out of curse words. You're king stupid, bro. Stop being king dumb. And what the? <laughs> you ever do something as a joke and then you start doing it like unironically? I keep going. Mwah, merp. I can't stop. This is how I greet people. Hey! This is me if someone's behind me. No, oh, He's right behind me, isn't he? Uh, this is me if... Uh, uh, guys, we've got company on your sixth. If I'm talking and you tell me to shut up, friends or not, joking or not, I'm never speaking to you again. And the monsoon will be showing up at your house in five minutes. It's like, oh... Okay, it appears God would like a word. Anyway, like, I understand banter between friends, but if I'm just, like, speaking my truth, and you're like, Bro, shut up, bro! Shut up! Okay, I will. I'll be quiet. But your father's in the trunk of my car. Kidding, but no, if you say that to me, I literally just won't be mentally there. Like, I'll just be watching young Sheldon next to ASMR videos in my brain for the rest of the day, because why would you, why would you say that to me? Why? Okay, this video is provoked by a personal experience, if you can't tell. But seriously, I feel like I just have to accept it. Like, everyone has that one friend... Where it's just like, bro, why did my grandma Loki just die? Oh, shut up! God! It makes me laugh when people, like, act cringe on purpose, like, as a joke, and then, like, immediately get so embarrassed, and they're like, oh my god! <laughs> because there's no reaction for me. It doesn't even register what I'm doing. Like, I just... Hey! <laughs> and it's, I don't even do it to be funny. Like, I used to find it funny, but I don't now. It just, like, never went away. Ever. It, it really does never go away. Like, like, if I'm having a conversation with someone and I'm, like, a little nervous, and I'm a little nervous, I'll, I'll just be like, Oh, this is freaking awkward. Hey, hey. So, that's... Guys, I got water in my speaker, and if I, like, talk too loud, it just, like, listen to this. Ah! <laughs> I, I didn't do it that time, so I just look stupid. God, let me try again. See? <laughs> I'm actually tweaking out, bro. I'm tweaking! So I have 2 billion TikTok followers, right? Most people at my school only talk to me because I have 2, two zillion followers. And today this guy wanted a shout out. So I told him, I will give you a shout out if you can tell me my last name. And he said, oh. So I left and he was still lurking behind me. He needed that shout out. Like this is the same genre of men that would like bully me in middle school. Not the same guy, but like the same like type of guy. But every day it's these type of guys. Um, can you, can you endorse my clothing brand? Literally cloud chase me one more time. You're going to wake up on my home planet. Like it's not, it's getting wicky. And I'm not even trying to be like arrogant. It's just these people do not care if I live or die, bro. If I got hit by a metro train, they'd be like, uh, does anyone have her on her TikTok login? <laughs> Make your own fame, twin. You oh my gosh, you're literally my dream girl. You, um, you I love to lie. I lie about everything. I mean, lying is so funny. I cried everything. I overshare on the internet. I have a ludicrous digital footprint. I say words like ludicrous. 
I still make these nuts jokes. I'm 90% sure that my family has ties to the mafia. The second I eat a bite of food, I have to poop my pants. I'm literally on the toilet right now. Guys, my friend was talking to me. She was like, Ava, I really like this guy and I don't know what to do. You know what? I have the best advice ever. I mean, was she satisfied with it? Um, I mean, no. But like, so like, she likes this guy, but she doesn't want to ruin their friendship. You know, the whole thing. So I'm like, just act like you're dating and tell people you're dating and post him like you're like, tell me why that wouldn't work when you really think about it. If you tell people he's your boyfriend, what's he gonna do? Um, what? I am not your boyfriend. No, but like, I would never tell someone I like them. I would just find another way. Cause imagine like talking to them after they reject you. Um, so that just happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but literally just, just be like, <sighs> we're dating. That was so unfunny. I'm so glad I had my eyes closed. And after this video, I'm going to have to kill myself. It literally needs to be studied how I will cut people off for doing me so dirty and like treating me so terribly. And then two months later, I'll be like, yo, where you been at? <laughs> what happened to us, dog? Like, yeah, she burnt my house down, but that's gang. Like, what do you mean? Other people lie to make their old friends sound bad. I lie to make them sound good. Those are the kind of friendships I've had. I'll be like, yeah, she saved my dog from a burning building, so we just kind of reconnected. Whole time I hit him up on Roblox. It's a sickness, okay? And it's not even like, I just want more friends. Like, I actually have plenty of friends, whether you want to believe that or not. Like, you know how women's brains make them forget childbirth so that they'll do it again? That's kind of what this is. I could have the most brief surface level friendship with someone. They do me dirty. A year later, I'm like, God, our connection. Oh, we just, we can't be apart. Anyway, should I hit up my freshman year friend who's the spawn of Satan? I think yes. Can I ask a question without being put on national news? Why is no one normal about Taylor Swift? Like, it's either you despise her and everything she does, or you have a picture of her on your mantle with a Virgin Mary, a glass of wine, and a dollar bill. I fall wherever the normal people are, if, the, if any. Like, I dabble in some of her songs. Her old music's good. But if I tell anyone that, it's like, Oh my god, you're a Swifty. <laughs> and I'm expected to know, like, the size of her big toe and her BMI. When in reality, I don't even like her as a person, I fear. Yeah. I don't, and I'm kind of just tired of seeing her and her DreamWorks character boyfriend. I'm just keeping it real. But if I tell anyone that, oh my god, they're not normal either. I t like, I told some, like, like jockey, jockey, straight man in my history class that I don't like Taylor Swift, and he... Ooh, he was like, really? <laughs> I've never met a girl who doesn't like Taylor Swift. <laughs> you can back up a bit. I promise you, we do not like her for completely different reasons, okay? Get wet! Oh my god, okay. <clears throat> go, 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 go! No. Yo, 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 yo! <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, that's that takes. Uh, there's this guy at my school, and you know, we used to be friends, but then a couple months ago I decided I was like, I don't like this guy. Do I have reasons? Yeah. Good reasons? Yeah. How many reasons do I need? None. I don't like the guy. He's a dick. So I just like removed and unfollowed him on everything. And we weren't that close, like he didn't care. But now <laughs> But now, when I see him in the hallway, well, this is the face that I make. I go, Ugh. do I do it on purpose? Well, not at the beginning. Just let a little slip, you know what I mean? And he sees every time. So now it's like my own little bit. Every time I see him in the hallway, ew. And he will like he'll laugh. Like, fuck you, why, why are you laughing? And today I saw him. I fully turned around and I did some corny little well, that was this man's last straw because he I was walking down the hallway. He was in the cafeteria. He comes out of the cafeteria. He's like, you don't know how to act. What the fuck does that mean? You don't know how to act is what he said. Like, what? What does that mean? Are you saying like, I don't know how to be civil? 
or I shouldn't be trying out for a play anytime soon. Well, now I feel like I should up the stakes. So like next time I see him, maybe I'll like throw something at him. I'm just kidding, maybe. I see nothing charming about being short, okay? I'm 5'2", brings me no benefit. I can hide in a kitchen cabinet, that's about it. And I don't mean this in like, I mean, I'm so small. I'm so- Shut the fuck up. I just don't want to be built like an Among Us character anymore, okay? I'm tired of being a short king. And talking to tall people is kind of uncomfortable. Like, hey, hey, I'd like a word with you in my ass. And tall people always got something to say. Ah, how's the weather down there? One more word and I'm gonna bite your knees. You're short. You're short. Go kiss your mother in the mouth. Guys, my friends hung out without me. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, <laughs> uh, they did though. I'm playing. I'm not even sad because they all look like they fart in toilets and then flush it. And look at me. I'm at home. I'm wearing jeans and a dress. And I'm watching TikToks with Family Guy at the top and ASMR videos at the bottom. So I'm having the time of my life. But you know what? I would have appreciated the invite so I could decline. Okay. There is a bomb in your mailbox though. How do you become friends with the opposite gender without them thinking that you want them? Like, like, can you guess which side I took a nap on? No, but there's just this guy I follow and he's silly and I want to be his friend. But he, 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 what the fuck? I'm tweaking this bad. He, he doesn't even go to my school. He's a hologram on my phone and I'm like, that's twin. But I'm not going to DM a man. I'm not. I'm not. My friends are like, I don't know, like, just reply to his story. <gasps> no! Then he's gonna be like, I'm another one. <laughs> Can't keep the ladies off me. And it doesn't help that no one believes in the power of friendship anymore. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> Guys and girls can never just be friends. That's not how that works, okay? I send feet pictures to my male friends. No meaning behind it. Just saying, hey.